Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to show you how to spot a scam body shop before you get towed into one and it's too late. Okay, it happens to everyone eventually. You get in an accident, then you have to have your car towed to a body shop. The last thing you want is to be in an accident, be knocked around, and then the tow truck guy comes and you let him decide where to tow it. You want to know a good body shop beforehand? Then write it down and put it in your glove box. So you'll have it at hand or put it on your phone. Because by law, at least here in the United States, you get in a wreck, you have the right to pick whatever body shop you want to fix your car. Nobody can force you to go to one place. But you have to understand, when the tow truck guys come, they generally get big kickbacks. If they got a nice big wreck and they tow it to the body shop that they're affiliated with, they will get 500, 1,000, maybe even more money for bringing that vehicle to that body shop. So you want to have one ready that you trust to say, no, tow it here. And if you don't know one, you still have the right to have it towed to your house. All the insurance companies will tow it to your house. Then, later, they can tow it to a body shop. Don't worry about that. You just want to send it to a good shop and not just somebody who's being paid to ship your car off because they get kickbacks. So how do you find out if a body shop is a scam body shop or a really good one? Well, you got to do a little research here. Unless you live in Houston, Texas, then you can just ask me who I use. I don't take any kickbacks. I've sent many, many customers to body shops and never took a dime back from the repairs. I just want my customers to get their cars fixed correctly. I don't do body work, so it's no skin off of my nose. And speaking of equipment, you got to make sure that the body shop you pick has a good paint booth. Paint booths are giant areas that are completely sealed so there's no dust. They control the humidity for painting. It's very important for getting body work done right. You don't want to have somebody painting your car that doesn't have a very good paint booth. Try spray painting something outside. You're going to see dust gets on it, hair, everything. You got to have a place that has a good paint booth. And you have to have professional guys working there who know how to blend paint and match it to the color of your car. Because take a look at this. You can easily tell this bumper's been repainted. It's a completely different shade than the top of the car that wasn't painted. I mean, look at that. You can see, here's the one that's been repainted. It's completely a lighter color here. It was not blended correctly. The paint doesn't even match. So you visit a body shop, say, hey, show me a car where you painted part of the car. See if it matches. And if it doesn't, they're not any good at blending paint. Go someplace else. And speaking of painting bumpers, check this out. This bumper was painted by a guy who didn't even know what kind of paint to put on the car. Realize that these plastic bumpers are exactly that. They are plastic. It requires a special kind of paint with a special bonding agent in order for it to stick. If you use regular car paint that you put on the hood and put it on the bumper, guess what? It flakes off like this car did. Whoever painted this bumper, they had no notion about how to paint plastic bumpers. They shouldn't be in the body business. And another big thing to check is the body shop area itself. If, like these cars all sitting all over the place, they got tons of them, looks like they're busy, go back in a few weeks. The same cars are sitting there. That's just a scam that guys, I used to work for a guy like that years ago. He had all these junk cars and it would sucker people to come in. And he wasn't fixing any of those cars. You see all their stickers are out of date. Some of them don't have license plates on them. Don't go to a place like that because odds are, they're going to take forever to fix your car and may not even do a good job. Because realize one thing, body shop work, it comes and it goes. It's not a continuous thing. Cars, they break down all the time. It's pretty continuous. Cars are always breaking. You got to fix them. But car wrecks, they occur kind of randomly. So a lot of times these guys don't have much business at all. So if they're one of those guys that aren't that honest, they'll take your car in and say, oh, it'll be ready in three days. Another car comes in, they're going to make more money. They drop yours and then they just work on the car. They're making more money. I've seen guys have cars in body shops for months for this reason. Ask around other people who they've used and anybody says, hey, that guy took forever to fix my car. Don't go there. You need to find a guy like me. I don't do body work, I do mechanical work, but my whole thing was, if people got here by eight in the morning, by five in the afternoon, most of the work I did on most of the cars were finished. I wanted to do stuff that were in and out fast. My customers were happy. They told people about me. I never spent a nickel advertising because all my customers told everyone about me. And of course, you want a place that's been in business a lot, but here's the kicker. 
you gotta do a little bit of research because I had a guy he was a great body man but as he got older he made his son take over the shop and his son had no interest in doing body work on cars really so as time went on I used the guy for a decade and a half but then when the son took over I sent customers there they could bring the car over to me and I'd look at them and the, you could see scratches from the sandpaper that they didn't make smooth and painted over so it had permanent scratches in it you gotta make sure that the person who's running the place cares about what his shop puts out and here's where the internet can really help you out a lot because if people have crappy body work done and it doesn't look right they're going to complain on the internet so if you do a little research on the guy and you see whoo there's complaints all over the place about this guy then you would think oh, i'm not going to go there i'm going to go somewhere else and although i'm always trying to save people money here don't go too cheap with body work you see those ads when I was a kid it used to be we'll paint any car for you know $59.95 now it's like $200 or $300 you're not going to get a very good paint job of your car for that kind of money these days I had my old Celica done like five years ago at one of those places and you can see the paint's flat it just doesn't hold up to do a good paint job costs a lot of money to paint the entire car and speaking of a good shop a good shop handles all insurance claims you don't do anything if they say we want some money up front you go someplace else the good ones they will use insurance companies where they call it up they handle all the paperwork if there's a problem they call up the insurance company and say look we just pulled off the bumper and found out that there's more damage underneath then they can send a guy to look to make sure that that's the truth you don't have to get involved in the actual repair and like anything you pretty much have to feel out the shop as people in Texas have always said, you don't want a guy who's all hat and no cattle. Or when I was younger in New York, hey, you don't want the guy who's got the motorcycle jacket, but he doesn't have the motorcycle. <laughs> Plenty of good body shops out there, just have to find them. But since people are always getting in wrecks, hey, ask your friends. See cars that were in wrecks that they had fixed. Look at it closely and look at it in the sun when the sun's shining because the human eye we can see millions of different varieties of color. You can see hey wow that was fixed really well or oh that doesn't match at all or there's paint that's bubbled up or you look at the fender that the guy replaced and parts of the gaps are half an inch and other parts are an inch, inch and a half gap. You know that place does lousy work and don't go there. And when you do find a good body shop hey pass the word of mouth around go on the internet tell people tell your friends about it because if you find a good body shop you tell other people about it they're going to continue to do good work especially when they say hey joe sent me they don't want joe to get mad because if he's telling a bunch of people how good they are and he does lousy work they know they're going to lose business and if they don't have to spend advertising money like i never spent it's more money in their pocket and less money out of yours that's paying for the body shop and the advertising. So take a tip from me and find a good body shop before you get in a wreck because it's often too late then and you'll be stuck towed to some place where everybody's getting kickbacks from everybody else and the work is relatively shoddy. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.